Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading for the end of March. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome. Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at a connection you believe you have with somebody at this time. So you do actually have to know each other. You don't necessarily have to be together. So we're going to take a look at the energy around this connection, whoever you're thinking of. Um, we'll pull a zodiac card here, so whatever comes out could be a sign, element, or planet. And then we'll pull an energy for the connection between the two of you, and then one for each of you, how you're feeling about each other in the connection. Clarifying that energy with the tarot, and then looking at the actual situation, advice, possible outcome, and then extra messages with the other deck there. So welcome, Sag. I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's doing well. And this is um, for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. If it's not fitting for you, it's not your story, please don't try to make it fit. Could be past, present, or future. Uh, male or female watching this. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right. So, Sagittarius. Let's see what we get for you at this time. Whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading. Let's see what we get from the Zodiac Oracle. Sign, element, or planet spirit, please. Thank you so much for Sagittarius in love at this time. Wow, wow. That's just too many. Too many. It's like half the deck. One card for Sagittarius, please. Okay, on this one. Let's see what we have. So we have the sun. So we have the sun energy here, which does represent Leo. And sun element is all about, in this zodiac deck, the sun element represents who you are, your identity, your originality, your purpose, your passion kind of energy. So your originality, what makes you, you. So... We'll see what the sun in the tarot does represent happiness, joy, success, and healing, everything positive in every single way with the sun card. So we'll see how that plays in to your reading. Or you could be dealing with a Leo or it could be all of the above. So let's see Sagittarius. We're going to pull one for the overall energy between you and your person at this time. Whoever you're thinking of, thinking about for this reading for Sagittarius in love. What is the love energy like between too many? All right, this is one is poking out at me. Let's see. Ooh, storm warning. Uh-oh. So we have ten. Tens are about endings. But then one, there's always a new beginning. So I don't know. That could be troubles coming in or troubles of the past or revealing something here that was like a troubled energy. I don't know. Some kind of storm warning in there, which kind of reminds me of the tower. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. So, Sagittarius, I'm going to put you here, your person here. And if any time during this reading you feel like the energies need to be switched or flipped, please do that at any time throughout this reading. So, let's get one for Sagittarius and one for their person, how they're feeling about each other and the connection at this Time spirit, please. Okay, we got one. So we have walking away, which is 27. That's your energy. So you're walking away from something stormy, whether it's this person or something of the past. We have uh, yet to see. So let's see how your person is feeling about you in this connection. One for them, spirit, please. Thank you so much. And that one. Contract. <clears throat> so... This does remind me of the Justice card. So six is a very healing, balancing number. And then you have nine here, which is almost at an ending of something, a completion of something, because then comes ten, which is ten. So you have nine, ten. So, I mean, contract can mean like a soul contract, a soulmate contract kind of energy. So this person could see you as somebody that they feel they have a soul, like a soul mate or a soul contract with, or this could represent like uh, divorce or something like that or separation, but you're turning your back and walking away from something. It could be this person or it could be something of the past. So we'll see when we get into the tarot. So let's see what's on the bottom. Financial constraints. 13 is 4, which is about stability. So I feel like your stability here is really being tested, really being um, 
constricting right now due to financial constraints of some kind. Sagittarius. So let's see what's going on in this situation for you. Sagittarius. Let's clarify with the tarot. And I just want to thank everybody for all your support uh, with the channel. And Sagittarius, I am having a giveaway for reaching 10,000 sub subscribers as a thank you. So if you're interested in re um, winning a tarot deck and a free 20-minute reading of your choice, check the description box below in the pinned top comment on how to enter um, the contest. It'll be open through March. I'll close it uh, April 1st and pick a random winner. So if you do, check it out. Uh, thank you. And there's a lot of stuff down in the description box. Uh, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, how to tip, donate, send a gift. Um, if you're not comfortable using PayPal, if you're watching this during the premiere, Super Chat is open also as a way to um, exchange energy or a tip or a donation. And if you do, thank you. All right, so Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on here. I just saw the Ace of Swords. So some sort of big truth could be coming out here. So, all right. So what is this walking away for for Sagittarius? What is this walking away for, Spirit, please, for Sagittarius? All right. Two here. So we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Knight of Wands. So the Ten of Cups is total happiness, joy, you know, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, and a relationship, a family, every single way. But then you got the Knight of Wands, who kind of go moves forward very passionately, goes after what they want. Sometimes they call it the player energy. So it's kind of two contradicting um, energies here. But I feel like <clears throat> as this Knight of Wands is rushing into the Ten of Cups, it's like moving forward with a lot of drive, passion, ambition, passion. You know, passion. I said it twice to a Ten of Cups kind of energy. But you do have walking away. So I feel like, I feel like maybe, you know, you want to rush into somebody and you want to have this Ten of Cups with somebody. Like maybe you do feel the connection, but maybe you're turning your back on it because, I don't know, maybe you just feel like you can't deal with it or it's too strong of a connection or you're just not ready. Um... For this type of connection yet yeah, and this storm warning could be just you having a lot of um feelings emotions mental conflict inner conflict about this whole situation this whole connection but you do have financial constraints there so and that could be the storm warning also maybe something financially here is making you turn your back on a connection here that you do see the potential of having total fulfillment with that you want passionately want to move forward towards but you're feeling constraint in some way. So let's see why your person has, no, oh, that was quick, contract. So we have the Ten of Wands and we have the Sun repeating here. So that's just crazy. So Leo coming out again and the Ten of Wands knows that fire energy. So it's laying down heavy burdens. So Again, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. So, but this person's blindfolded that you're dealing with. So, I feel like if this is somebody you are connected with, um, or this could be an energy of you just walking away from a relationship that was a happy family at one time, was passionate at one time, but there's been a storm here and now walking away from that could be with this person, but they're also laying down the burdens and walking away also from something that can, that was very happy and joyous at one time also in the contract. There could be, you know, legal separation, divorce, some kind of energy like that. All right. So getting a lot of different messages here. So for some of you, you could be just both of you just deciding to walk away from a connection that was, you know, <clears throat> happy and joyous at one time, but now feeling constraint and it's a lot of stormy energy. So it could be a lot of fighting, arguing, not getting along, you know, conflicting energy and deciding to leave the whole connection here. Or some of you could be connecting with somebody new. They feel the soul contract with you. But I feel with the Ten of Wands, they feel like uh, 
it's a burden with them because they feel such a strong maybe connection and they see you as the sons and you know very happy joyous fulfilling connection of some kind and they also could see you maybe you you know if this other scenario is separate from this person um it could they could see you laying down some sort of heavy burden or going through a divorce or something like that and they see you passionately moving forward from a ten of cups situation walking away from that and knowing you're financially constrained all right constricted so let's see the actual yeah six of swords energy coming out on your side so definitely leaving a situation here and moving into karma waters uh to peace harmony balance moving on to a better place what else yeah moving on from the conflict here again with the storm warning i felt fighting arguing uh bickering one upping one another kind of energy all that fighting and arguing and i actually feel like it goes this way so yeah moving on from all this petty arguing and crap whatever it was moving away from that going to a better place what else here for sagittarius for this connection whoever they're thinking of at this time seven of pentacles so here you know know could be doing like a, a life review review kind of reminds me of the kind of like the judgment card in the minor so kind of doing like that review of you know what did i invest in and you know kind of energy or making you know plans for the future where do i need to invest how do i move forward um but patiently waiting it's all about patiently waiting and investing analyzing assessing kind of energy it's right in the middle of your spread so you both could be like waiting so if this is a new person if you're leaving behind an old person and walking away from that and this person sees you doing that you're both in the energy here with the seven of pentacles of like how do we invest for the future taking you know slow practical steps uh kind of energy and like waiting so different kinds of energy here so what else do we have here so we have the Knight of Cups. So moving forward in love. Making movement forward in love after a period of waiting. You know, making an offer of love or showing love, affection or something like that. So definitely <laughs> moving forward in love and now showing and expressing and, you know, kind of, you know, love and affection, that kind of energy. So this is coming under your person for the situation. So let's get one more, one more here. Four of Cups. Yeah, so I think your per person wondered whether, whether or not this offer would come in, waiting for that offer or that action or movement forward in love, wondering, you know, is that movement forward action, movement or whatever offer ever going to come in here? But here it comes after a period of waiting. I feel like you moving away from this energy here of this stormy energy fighting you know conflict turning your back on once was probably a very happy passionate connection and i think your person sees you doing that maybe sees you going through a divorce and laying down the heavy burdens but they still know they hold a place for you they do see you as the sun in their eyes even though their eyes are covered, <laughs> they're blindfolded. Because <clears throat> they don't see you yet. They don't see you yet in the physical. But they know, even though they're blindfolded, with the sun is the most positive card in the deck. So they, they know that, but they don't see it yet in the physical. Wow. All right, so let's see what the advice is here. Well... We have the Three of Cups, which is about celebrating, reuniting, coming together, having a good time, going out for a drink. After a period of waiting here with the Three of Wands, very strong um, energy here with strength. So we got Leo coming out again. So that's three times Leo comes out. So strength, you know, having courage, determination, willpower, um, go-getter kind of energy, being strong and confident. 
holding back, having that um, willpower to do that when needed, taming the beast when needing to. All right, so one more for your advice for this connection. The Empress. So Emperor Empress doesn't matter. So your advice here is the Empress... So this person you could be connecting with, I think, is very stable and grounded. They could be an entrepreneur. Um, they give birth to new things. So this is, you know, can be a birth to something new here. It's a very strong connection with the strength card, but also having the courage and strength after a period of waiting to reunite with this person. Wow, that's exactly what this says here. So the advice is here to, you know, once the time is right to reunite, having the strength and courage to have something new here with someone who, this is the Divine Feminine, is your Divine Feminine. And it could be a Leo. Wow. Okay. Exactly what we have here. So, let's see what the possible outcome could be here. Well, we have your energy coming out here, Sag. Well, we have success and victory, accomplishment, accolades. Your energy, healing, patience, balance. This angel brings the soulmates together. So soulmates do come back together with the temperance angel. That's your energy. So if you want to make this happen, this can be very successful. But only you, I feel, Sag, can make this happen. And I feel like this person knows that. <clears throat> and you may be getting maybe enlightenment uh, about this new person because I see the head lit up there. And this can be about an offer coming in here. Doesn't necessarily have to be engagement or marriage, just some sort of offer coming in. Hey, you know, go out for a drink or meet up or something here. And one more devil. So could be very, um, could be very strong bond here with the devil, and also could be very like lustful energy, sexual energy, very strong attraction to this person also. And it's connected to the strength card, so that's about taming the beast from within. So maybe needing to, you know, tame that beast from within if it's a very strong physical or uh, sexual, you know, <laughs> passionate kind of attraction. Tempering your energy, balancing your energy, peace, harmony, balance kind of energies. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for you, Sagittarius. So we have the High Priestess, so it's about listening to your intuition and higher knowing. But it's also about being secretive. So you may not be talking to this person at this time. Five of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So the Five of Swords here is about, um, you know, do I just give up on this and feel like it's just defeated? Or am I going to do what I have to do to move forward with an offer here? Something s stable, tangible. doesn't have to be tangible, but something stable, grounded, slow-moving energy here. So it could have been a long time coming in. So here's the Page of Wands, very fiery, passionate communication or good news coming in, going out about wanting a very passionate, fiery new beginning here. It's exciting, new endeavors, um, traveling, um, whatever here. Magician, so making a new beginning happen here, manifesting this. So we do have death here. So again, something ending, and I fell that over here. Something uh, just ending, letting it end, and then transforming out of that energy. And we have the King of Wands, uh, Queen of Wands, King or Queen, doesn't matter. That's your energy. So, wow. So now we have, <laughs> we have the King and Queen of Wands. So we have a matching couple here. So soulmate energy. So, and we did have the Divine Feminine. So this person, I feel, I feel it could be a new person, um, is your match. Two fire signs here, Leo, Sag, Aries, soulmate, twin flame energy. Listen to your intuition about this because here is the Ace of Cups, love and emotions are overflowing, brand new beginning in love. Two, and you know, the moon can also be about secret, being secretive or not knowing the path clearly. So maybe having a little fear uh, kind of energy also, but secrets coming to light about this big old cup of love between the two of you and then wanting to rush in with that energy either after a tower moment or epiphany aha moment 
and then wanting some sort of new stability in this connection. This can be about commitment, doesn't have to be, or doing what's moral just right. So, I mean, I could keep going here, but um, I'm going to stop there. So we have Taurus, we have Aries, we have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we have two fire here, Leo, Sag, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, Leo, Sag, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces. We have Leo, Leo, Libra with um, that energy, uh, Leo, Sag, Aries, uh, let's see here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Leo, your energy, Sagittarius, Capricorn. So a lot of different energy here. So let's get some closing messages for you here, Sagittarius. So I feel like <clears throat> some of you are leaving a situation and your person sees that. They don't see you in the physical yet, but they know the sun can be about twin flames. So they know this is a soul contract between the two of you either soulmate twin flames here and maybe they see you also maybe going through a divorce ending something very turbulent moving on to a better place patiently waiting for an offer to come in not knowing if it will but i think it will come in reuniting after a period of waiting again taming the beast within very lustful um sexual connection so taming that this is possibly your divine feminine success patience and balance and uh very it's almost like the lover's card, but it's like more intense than that. So that energy there that also can be about toxic energy. So maybe you are balancing yourself and healing yourself after some uh, toxic energy you've been through here, especially with the storm warning. Someone you felt bound and tied to kind of energy. But the sun overcomes the devil and you have the sun twice here. Okay, so let's get some extra messages here. And I just cut the deck to divine magic. And I had just said this could be your divine um, feminine or soulmate. And now we have divine magic. I just cut the deck. So, and yes, I can't make this up. <laughs> can't make it up. Okay, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Sagittarius. I do say, I say um, if I could talk, Sagittarius, if you're new you like my channel how i read my energy feel free to check it out if you like what you see please feel free to like share subscribe and comment i love to read the comments if you subscribe hit the bell you won't miss out get about five readings a month uh two love to general and a bonus i may be switching that up i'm not sure yet but either way you would get four or five readings so let's get some extra messages now for you okay so we have self-forgiveness let go of old guilt and remember that you're god's perfect child so yeah i feel like here um, again, you can be male or female, letting go of something here of the past and maybe having guilt over that, but moving on from that and just know you're divinely guided, everything will be fine. Just confirm that we have yes. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. And we have all that um, energy here. All right, so let's get one more. So if you're wondering about maybe this, like if leaving a situation is the right thing to do or going towards a new person, is that the right thing to do? Maybe feeling guilty about all your situations here. Just know that let it go. And whatever you're feeling, whatever your intuition is, whatever you're doing in life right now, that's best for you. The answer is yes. Have faith. Your prayers are manifesting. And we did see the magician there. Remain positive and follow your guidance. And let's see what we have on the bottom. Wait, don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. And we did have this energy here of waiting, uh, waiting, waiting. So um, I think there was a period of waiting before this energy comes in. I don't know why I'm doing that but i don't usually do that but anyway okay sagittarius so uh, best of luck to you and i'm sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light